Hi everyone, I'm back this week and I'd like to talk about found objects and sculpture and an interesting project called the Heidelberg Project. So I brought a slideshow to show you some of this. This is Tyree Guyton. He's an artist from Detroit and he grew up in Detroit on Heidelberg Street. And he grew up and moved away and worked and came back later. And when he came back, his old neighborhood had fallen into disrepair. The houses were empty and abandoned. There was a lot of trash and crime. And he was really sad to see that. So he wanted to do something to help. So he started the Heidelberg Project. And he started collecting all the trash around and making things out of them, making sculptures and embellishing houses and things with all these found objects. And he started painting houses, the empty houses, and also I think his house and some other houses that people might have lived in. And this cheered up the neighborhood a little bit. It certainly made it a more interesting, brighter place, but it gained a lot of attention too. People started talking about it and talking about why was it abandoned? Why didn't people live there anymore? What kind of help did they need? What did the city need to do? It drew attention to this problem. And this is the party animal house. He collected all these stuffed animals from all over the neighborhood and attached them to the house and all over. Do you think that people liked what he was doing? If you lived there, would you like to look at it? Or would you think it was just garbage and trash and it was ugly and it was making it even worse? Is it better? Is this the numbers house? Is it better than just having an empty falling down house if he paints numbers and things on it? I think people were mixed. Some people really didn't like it. The city knocked a couple houses down a couple of times and then other people really loved it. And they, there was an outcry, it's art. You can't just knock it down. So it's, it's always been controversial. It means people don't agree. And this is, what does this look like? It's an old oven, right? But he's taken pipes and gloves and made it into a sculpture. What's in the oven? There's a pig. And I think this is the same sculpture on different days and people must walk by and move the arms around and point them in different ways and all kinds of things. He also likes to uh, paint faces. He's painted faces on all different objects in the background and on some of the houses. There's all kinds of things. It's a really interesting place to go and walk around. This is called the vacuum cleaner forest. So he found all these vacuum cleaners. These are old vacuum cleaners. You might not even recognize them as cousins to your vacuum cleaner now, but they are. He collected all these from the neighborhood. That's a lot of vacuums and made them into the vacuum cleaner forest. They're all wearing gloves or shoes on the top too. So is it a sculpture or an installation? Is it art or is it just a collection of junk? Here is Noah's Ark. So he's retelling the biblical story of the animals and the ark and the flood. So this has been a project for since 1986. So it's been going, what, over 30 years now. And he's drawn a lot of attention to that neighborhood and it's become a huge community art project. So people come by and they help and they work on it and they add things. And that's, that's really interesting how it involves the community. Here's some of the faces he likes to do and you see the old phones and toys on top too. They're little, little sculptures there and there's some in the background with some old toys and oil drums. And then this house is covered in records. It makes a really interesting pattern. I really like to look at this one. So I'm curious to know 
what you think of it. I would love to go there and walk around and really see it. This is an artist, Mr. Imagination. He died in 2012, but he was a self-taught artist. He was called an outsider artist. And that just means an artist who doesn't have formal training in the arts. He didn't go to college or art school, but that doesn't really change that he's an artist and the work that he made. So here's the sculptures he made out of found objects using buttons and bottle caps and things. You can see all the crazy hair on this one, the horse that he's riding. And here's a portrait paintbrush head. He's used paintbrushes and bottle caps and clay to make these head sculptures. He said this one was inspired by a dream. He had a dream that he had all these heads and he was a god. And this one is the button cane with self-portrait. So that's, that's him there. And he's used buttons and looks like maybe a shovel is the basis of this. That's my guess. So you can tell both Mr. Imagination and Tyree Guyton took things that were thrown away, trash, and made them into something good and interesting. And I think that that was something that kept them making all these things, making good out of something that was seen as bad. You recognize any of these bottle caps? A lot of these are, they're old, but I see, I see, do see a Diet Coke in there. And a lot of these I don't recognize. And here, this is called the bottle cap lion and nobody knows who made this one, but it's in the Smithsonian. And I've always liked this one. And they know it was made after 1966. How do you think they know that? If they don't know who made it or where it was made. I'm guessing that one of those bottle caps on there maybe wasn't made until 1966, maybe some type of soda they didn't have until then. But I don't know if that's the reason. That's my guess. So we've looked at two different artists that work with found objects, Tyree Guyton and Mr. Imagination, and seen a whole diverse kind, different kinds of ways of doing things with them. So I would like you to make something out of found objects. Now this can be recycling, bottles and cans, cardboard, um, old caps, buttons, string. You could go outside and use sticks and nature materials. Anything you want, scraps of fabric, wire. I have a couple of examples here I've made over the years. And here is a little scorpion made out of resistors and capacitors that I got somewhere that weren't being used anymore. And here's a little guy made out of just yarn and wire with little button eyes. That's it, nothing else. It's just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. So if you have some string or yarn, you could wrap something, start there. If you have fabric, a lot of fabric hanging around and you have sewing skills and you know how to sew or even just glue and wrapping, you could make something like that. This is a doll made of just old sewing stuff, buttons, little, I don't even know what those are, snaps, yarn, all kinds of things. It's another little wire creature. So see, you can make all kinds of things with very few things, string, wire, sticks, anything you find around, things that are going to be thrown away. See what you can do. Another interesting thing, if you want to go on a field trip, ask your parents or guardians. There's a place called the Albany Bulb, and there's tons of found object sculptures that people have made outside there. It's not very far from Alameda. And maybe you could do a field trip there and see some found object sculptures there. So I can't wait to see what you make. I hope you have fun.